Hello from the Forstronics YouTube channel. Welcome to building an AC power switch development board. So the goal of this video is to show you how to build your own switch development board, AC switch development board for home automation applications like thermostats or lighting or things like that. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to provide the design, the parts, the Eagle files for doing PCB layout for this whole design if you want to make it yourself. Also, I'll have this on my store, forstronics.com, for sale if you want to purchase it there. Okay, let's get started. So the goal of this design, what I wanted to create was a AC switch development board, because there's not really many out there, or, or any I should say, for home automation applications. And one thing I wanted to avoid is I didn't want to use mechanical relays. I mean, relays are fine, but they make sounds, they have moving parts, they, you know, they have a finite lifetime. I wanted to use a solid state device and I'll talk about what I'll use later. Of course though, since I'm using a solid state device, I wanna make sure I don't mix my AC with my DC because that can cause problems with, with your microcontroller and things like that. Also, I wanted it to work with five volt or 3.3 volt logic because I have different Arduino boards that are five volt or 3.3 volt logic. And I wanted to add an element of safety, so I have I plan to put in a fuse for, for protecting current, overcurrent, I should say. I will mention before getting into this project that this is for people who understand AC line power, because AC line power is dangerous and can kill you. You know, it's not like microcontrollers where you have very low current DC. When you have AC, you have high voltage, and especially you have access to very high current that can kill you. Really, this is for people who understand AC, understand what to do, how to use it, and how to be safe with it. Because this board will have exposed metal that will be carrying AC voltages on it. Okay, some more notes. One thing I'm going to mention that this design is really for really 120 volt applications, 120 volt AC applications, which is what you'll find in the U.S. I think in Japan it's a 100 volt AC, so this will work there as well. I know in Europe and in Asia, often you run into 220, so this is not for 220 volt AC applications. Some of the parts can be used for those type of applications, but the way I did the design will not work up to the voltage levels up to that high. Okay, with that said, I'm using a TRIAC. So I have another video where I talk about switching AC that I made a couple years back, but basically a TRIAC's like the uh, AC MOSFET, I'll call it. Although some people will probably not like that definition. But a triac can switch AC just like a MOSFET can switch DC. A, tri a triac cannot switch DC. If you try to switch DC with a triac, it'll work once and then you won't be able to turn it off. But a triac can be used to switch on and off AC power. If you look at the bottom left, there's a triac. It's, it's like a diode going two different ways. So it can allow positive and negative voltage to pass. And that's what we need for AC. You have a gate to control it on and off. But since we're using AC, we want to we want to isolate the AC from our DC. And, and to do that, I'm going to use an opto isolator. There's a, a lot of opto isolators out there. This one is specially made to work with triax. So basically, what happens is internally the chip has a light emitting diode, so it's not touching the actual terminals that are connected to the triac. And that activates an internal triac of the isolator, hope that's not confusing, that then actuates the, the triac connected to the AC power. And I'll show you the circuit hookup for this. So here's a basic circuit layout for the opto isolator and triac. And I got this from the opto isolator data sheet. And so these are some of the parts we'll look at, we'll use in the design, and I'll show you the schematic in Eagle for all the parts. But basically the opto isolator works by, for this model, you want to put 5 milliamps through pin 1 to pin 2. So if 5 milliamps flows from pin 1 to pin 2, the opto isolator will actuate the triac. So you typically you have VCC or some kind of 5 volts. If Well, you, you can actually use different voltage levels, but I'm going to use 5 volts, so that means I want RN to be 1 kilo ohm. Divide 5 by 1 kilo ohm, you get 5 milliamps. And then 2, you just bring it to a logic level low, and then all of a sudden you have current flowing and you actuate the isolator. These are resistors that, that the design specifies, or I should say the data sheet of the opto isolator specifies that are needed. These resistors are optional, or I shouldn't say these resistors. This resistor and capacitor are optional, 
I'm actually not going to include it in the design. I'll actually put it on the PCB board spots for these components, but I'm not going to have them in the design. The idea here is these are for higher inductance loads. So motors or solenoids or things like that. You know, my design is targeted more for resistive loads or low inductance or low capacitance loads. So if you, this design is not intended for motors or anything like that, so it's going to have high inductance. If you want to use them, you can, but you need to add the resistor and the capacitance and understand how that will work with a high inductance load. So just a warning that what you get with this is mainly for resistive type loads like lights. Okay, let's take a look at the Eagle schematic and board layout. Okay, before I get into this, I will say Eagle is CAD software for laying out PCB boards. There's a lot of different softwares out there to do it. I chose Eagle. Eagle, if you go to their website to download it, it costs money, but actually you look, they have a free version, a light version for hobbyists. So you can get this for free. I'm not going to do a tutorial on Eagle. If you want it, if you want that, you can find there's plenty of tutorials out there. There's a lot of them out there. Just go ahead. And, so I'm going to assume that you have a basic understanding of Eagle here. So here is my design, my schematic. Here's the LED. Just I'm going to have an LED on there just to show that power is applied. Here is my opto isolator. Here is my triac. Here's the 180 ohm and one kilo ohm resistor that you saw on the previous slide. Here's the R4 and C1 that I'm not putting the parts in, but I'll have the footprint for the parts on the PCB board. Here's where I'm going to stick in a fuse uh, to protect, 2 amp fuse. Where things are a little different than what you saw in the schematic you just looked at is I want to make this for 3 volt and 5 volt logic. I also want a high to be on and a low to be off. So normally you would you'd put pin 2 to low from a digital pin to turn it on. But what I did is I'm putting in a transistor and an MPN transistor. So what all my digital pin has to do in 3.3 volt logic will work and 5 volt logic is put a high on the gate of this transistor. The transistor turns on, acts like a short. Then I can get my 5 milliamps flowing through here to actuate the ice opto isolator. So VCC needs to be 5 volts, but this logic pin can be 3.3 volts or 5 volts in, or even a little less. I think the threshold for the transistor is like around 2, two volts. So that is the basic layout. It's not terribly complex. I'll show this real quick. Here is the, the board layout. So here is the triac, the fuse holder, the screw terminals, and I'll show that in a second. So that's where you're going to attach your AC load. So you bring the AC power in in series, you cut it, attach here and here, and then the triac's going to act as a switch. You can see both power leads come to the triac, and it acts like a switch to either be open, no AC power flowing, or closed. I'll have these files on GitHub, my Eagle files on GitHub for people to access, and I'll provide a link for that at the end of the video. Okay, let's take a look at the parts list real quick, and then we'll see the design in action. Okay, so here is the parts list. I'm not going to go over too many of them. I already talked about a lot of this. I will mention the screw terminal block. I went with a little overkill, 16 amps, just to be safe. You could, if you wanted to, just directly solder onto here if that's what you want to do. Be sure to use a lot of solder for the terminal block because it can get a lot of torque from whatever you're connecting it to. And you want to be careful with that because you don't want to rip it off the board or anything like that. Okay, let's see the design in action. So the light is actually lit right now. So my, my camera doesn't do a great job. But basically I have the light coming on every three seconds just being switched on and off. So right now it's on. Let me stop it here. You can see the fuse holder. It has a cover. There's a fuse inside. The terminal block. It looks like the terminal block's a little crooked, but actually the plastic piece can move a little bit, which is actually good, but the metal pieces are anchored to the PCB board. Here is the, the footprints for the optional parts if you're using an inductive load. Here's the triac. Here's the opto isolator, the LED for power. Just three connections. Let's back away. And you can kind of see the... Uh, the Arduino Uno, just one digital pin is all you need, and you can see the light going on and off. So I'll stop it there. So that's it for building an AC power switch development board. 
Like I mentioned before, AC line power is dangerous, so make sure you know what you're doing if you're going to pursue this part or this project. I'm going to have everything on GitHub for the Eagle files. I provided you with a parts list. You know, so I'm totally on board with open source, so feel free to use this. If you do use it, I would appreciate if you support my channel. There's a button there where you can throw a dollar or, or a euro or whatever my way. Also, the board and the parts are going to be available on my store. I'll actually also sell like the Triac and the Opto Isolator separately if you just want to buy some of the parts. Or if you want to buy the whole board, you can buy that at my store. Thank you for watching.